when you ask questions about what will be in your reference history and your reference history, you create, an you create an unintentional outline, a possibility of possibility in the world that you see. And the world that you see in every way possible, in every way possible, exists within an outline, exists within an outline that humanity has claimed, that humanity has claimed the potential for war, the potential for war, the secession of war, the secession of war, what it means to be male or female, what it means to be male and female, what it means to be human, what it means to be human, all ideas held, all ideas held in some ways, in some ways by the collective, by the collective. And when something unexpected, and when something unexpected, unexpected moves into this field, moves into the field, the field itself, the field itself must be altered, must be altered to hold the new potential. Some of you say, some of you say, I just want my life as it has been. I just want my life as it has been, the life that you think you had. The life that you think you had was an idea of who you were, was an idea of who you were with an expression, within expression of construct of a construct mandated through the collective, mandated through the collective. Everything you've seen, everything you've seen or even believe that you have chosen or even believe that you have chosen exists within this outline, exists within this outline. You may call it reality. You may call it reality. We would call it something other. We would call it something other, a system of agreement, a system of agreement to what can be manifest, to what can be manifest, what can be so, what can be so, what can be seen, what can be seen or experienced, or experience a disruption, a disruption in your expectations, in your expectations, your personal lives, your personal lives always falls within the construct, always falls within the construct of what you might expect to happen, of what you might expect to happen. The marriage failed, the marriage checked, the marriage failed, the child did not survive, the child did not survive, the country went to war again, the country went to war Again, the politics failed. The politics failed. There is nothing new in many ways. There is nothing new in many ways in your experience, in your experience, because your experience is in fact, because your experience is in fact predicated by an idea, predicated by an idea of what can be, of what can be, which is made manifest, which is made manifest through the historical data, through the historical data that the collective has accrued, that the collective has accrued when you agree to something new. When you agree to something new, you're actually having to move beyond. You're actually having to move beyond a system of collective agreement, a system of collective agreement. Now, when we teach through Paul, now when we teach through Paul, we are actually circumventing his own idea. We are actually circumventing his own idea of what can be, of what can be. And as this transmission occurs, and as this transmission occurs, there is an aspect of him. There is an aspect of him that sits in the back, that sits in the back saying, how is this? Saying, how is this? What is this? What is this? How could this be? How could this be the usefulness of this channel? The usefulness of this channel is he does not want it to be him, is he does not want it to be him, so he allows it to be what it is, so he allows it to be what it is, and in this way, and in this way, a new expectation, a new expectation may be brought forth, may be brought forth, untainted, untainted by the residual ideas, by the residual ideas that a human being can announce, that a human being can announce or claim or claim or even prophecy or even prophecy. The idea of prophecy must be understood. The idea of prophecy must be understood in almost all cases. In almost all cases, prophecy is born. Prophecy is born through the idea, through the idea that the collective holds, that the collective holds about what may come, about what may come. One who prophecies, one who prophecies is in most cases, is in most cases aligning to a collective stream, is aligning to a collective stream. You understand, you understand that when everybody looks up at the sky, that when everybody looks up at the sky, it may be about to rain, it may be about to rain in most cases. In most cases, the collective is in response to an event. The collective is in response to an event, event accruing and about to be announced, an event accruing or about to be announced before it transpires, 
before it transpires, you understand and prepare. You understand and prepare only for the known, only for the known, what your minds can wrap themselves around, what your minds can wrap themselves around. But when we teach, but when we teach, we actually have no inclination. We actually have no inclination to give you what you expect, to give you what you expect. We hope to give you what you require. We hope to give you what you require or may need or may need to transmute what encounters, to transmute what encounters you may have, you may have with the lower field, with the lower field as it attempts to claim you, as it attempts to claim you. What does that mean, he asks? What does that mean, he asks, in times of great change? In times of great change, when humanity is moving beyond a sense of self, when humanity is moving beyond a sense of self, what it can claim within this old outline, what it can claim within this old outline, there is often constriction. There is often constriction, a desire, a mandate to constrict, a desire or mandate to constrict made by the collective itself, made by the collective itself. Imagine going down into the root cellar. Imagine going down into the root cellar in preparation for the tornado, in preparation for the tornado. Imagine covering the windows. Imagine covering the windows in readiness, in readiness for the hurricane for the hurricane and humanity does what it thinks it must do and humanity does what it thinks it must do to maintain its identity to maintain its identity sense of peace and safety sense of peace and safety but what you have thought was safety but what you have thought was safety in most cases in fact in most cases in fact was a kind of compliance was a kind of compliance to a status quo to a status quo that was wrought in separation, that was wrought in separation, all of the agreements made, and all of the agreements made in the root cellar, in the root cellar behind the boarded windows, behind the boarded windows, still have an expectation, still have an expectation what was once there, that what was once there will still be there, will Steve still be there after the storm has passed, after the storm has passed. In fact, what we expect. In fact, what we expect is that the storm that you are now undergoing is that the storm that you are now undergoing, and it will last for some years, and it will last for some years, will actually reclaim you, will actually reclaim you or bring you to a higher octave or bring you to a higher octave of experience, of experience outside the outline, outside the outline that has been wrought, that has been wrought in the resistance to this transformation and the resistance to this transformation will be experienced by most of you, will be experienced by most of you in one way or another, in one way or another. Your basic requirements, you see, your basic requirements, you see, I must be fed, I must be fed, I must have shelter, I must have shelter, or in many ways, are in many ways dependent on your ideas of cultural norms, are in many ways dependent upon your ideas of cultural norms. There will be a house to stay in, there will be a house to stay in, and there will be food somewhere to eat, and there will be food somewhere to eat. What is actually occurring? What is actually occurring is that actually is a transformation, is a transformation, transformation of what reality has meant of what reality has meant and consequently and consequently what you see before you what you see before you will go through a stage will go through a stage where what was expected where what was expected may not be seen may not be seen what you had what you had may not be present may not be present the temptation is to become fearful the temptation is to become fearful and that will do you no good at all and that will do you no good at all it becomes opportunity it becomes opportunity the very moment you say the very moment you say i know who i am i know who i am and i am in change and i am in change now you must trust change now you must trust change when you reach the edge of the cliff when you reach the edge of the cliff you must trust change you must trust change when the storm is ended when the storm is ended you peek out the window to see what is there and you peek out the window to see what is there you must trust change you must trust change when the marriage has failed when the marriage has failed the child did not survive the child did not survive what you thought was permanent what you thought was permanent is in fact revealed to be something other is in fact revealed to be something other the manifestation of change the manifestation of change on this plane 
on this plane occurs with the consent occurs with the consent of humanity of humanity you are not victims you are not victims but in some ways you are participatory but in some ways you are participatory to what is outpictured to what is outpictured what you choose what you choose at the level of the whole at the level of the whole the days of blaming another predicaments the days of blaming another for your predicaments must be ended now must be ended now because as you point your fingers because as you point your fingers you forget the divine you forget the divine as you look for recrimination as you look for recrimination you want a penalty paid you want a penalty paid you forget the gifts of the kingdom you forget the gifts of the kingdom that are ready for you that are ready for you to be in change to be in change at this level of tone argument at this level of tone or agreement is to move to surrender is to move to surrender imagine a bobsled imagine a bobsled that will carry you down the hill and up the next that will carry you down the hill and up the next of its own volition of its own volition the weight of your body upon the sled the weight of your body upon the sled in fact will propel it forward in fact will propel it forward you are less alone than you ever believe you are you are less alone than you ever believe you are. Now the personal self, now the personal self who just wants her bills paid, who just wants her bills paid, wants things to be what they have been, wants things to be what they have been, will be awakened from asleep, will be awakened from asleep in a new awareness, in a new awareness that the climate that you've expressed in, that the climate that you've expressed in has indeed been altered, has indeed been altered in the alteration of the climate. And the alteration of the climate is always something it meant, is always something in an environment, in an environment. Now, when we speak to environment, now when we speak to environment, not speaking to weather, we are not necessarily speaking to weather, but the climate of a culture, but the climate of a culture, the readiness of a culture, the readiness of a culture to shift a fixed focus, to shift its focus from one way of seeing, from one way of seeing to another, to another when you have times of war. When you have times of war, the culture shifts very quickly. The culture shifts very quickly to arms, to arms, to protest, to protest, to opinion, to opinion. When you have times of crisis, when you have times of crisis, a country will shift, a country will shift quite rapidly, quite rapidly to comprehend crisis, to comprehend the crisis through the lens of the individuals and collectives, through the lens that the individuals and collectives can and may hold, can and may hold, but what we say will happen, but what we say will happen, the collective will have to stop and pause, is that the collective will have to stop and pause because when something expresses, because when something expresses beyond the outline of reality, beyond the outline of reality, as you have mandated that reality to play out, as you have mandated that reality to play out, there is an interruption. There is an interruption and an interruption and an interruption in this case, in this case is opportunity, is opportunity to relinquish one idea, to relinquish one idea and one idea only, and one idea only, I must be in charge of all things, I must be in charge of all things, you actually think you are. You actually think you are, you think that if you maneuver your behavior, you think if you maneuver your behavior, the boss may one day like you more, the boss may one day like you for, if you curry favor more, if you curry favor, if you curry favor with the object of your interest, of the, with the object of your interest, he or she will respond differently, he or she will respond differently if you give your child what she demands, if you give your child what she demands, she will behave better, she will behave better, what happens now, what happens now is what comes is what comes when you realize your pockets are empty, when you realize your pockets are empty, that there is no tool, that there is no tool, no mandate, no mandate that will open the door, that will open the door, give you the curry of favor, give you the curry of favor or the way to manipulate, or the way to manipulate a situation, a situation that is actually large enough 
that is actually large enough to shut humanity up for a moment, to shut humanity up for a moment so it begin to hear, so that it may begin to hear what will be heard. What will be heard, we suggest, we suggest is a new idea, is a new idea, the one note sung, the one note sung, the presence of God, the presence of God where it has been denied, where it has been denied. Paul was getting anxious. Paul is getting anxious. This sounds rather rhapsodic. This sounds rather rhapsodic. Everybody's standing, listening to a tone. Everybody's standing, listening to a tone. What occurs, Paul? What occurs, Paul, is a silence, is a silence where reflection, where reflection of one idea, of one idea can be met anew, can be met anew, the belief that you are in control, the belief that you are in control of all outcome, of all outcome, you say, well, you are, you still think you are, even in the face of choice, even in the face of choice or crisis, or crisis, I am in charge of what I do, I am in charge of what I do, when what you have known to do, when what you have known to do, what you have aspired to fix, what you have aspired to fix or to change, or to change, to curry favor with, to curry favor with is no longer present, is no longer present when the pockets are empty of tools. When the pockets are empty of tools, you open up your palms, you open up your palms to receive what has not yet been present, to receive what has not yet been present, the gifts of the kingdom. The gifts of the kingdom are actually prepared for all of you, are actually prepared for all of you, and the gifts of the kingdom are not what you wish. And the gifts of the kingdom are not what you would wish necessarily, are not what you would wish necessarily, but what you will own, but what you will own, what will be in benefit of, what you will be in benefit of, and what will actually claim you, and what will actually claim you and deliver you and deliver you to what we call a new shore, to what we call a new shore. Now, the new shore is not land. Now, the new shore is not land, it's not a new country, it is not a new country with a different flag, with a different flag, it is a different way of being, it is a different way of being, an altered way of being, an altered way of being, a transposition, a transposition of tone and vibration, and vibration is one experience, in one's experience, to experience the self, to experience the self beyond an idea of self, beyond an idea of self that you have accrued and mandated be so, that you have accrued and mandated be so, is the gift of the kingdom, is the gift of the kingdom to comprehend another, to comprehend another as of this kingdom, as of this kingdom, because he or she cannot not be, because he or she cannot not be, is the action of being here, is the action of being here to give a world, to give a world a new expression, a new expression is the gift for those, is the gift for those who call forth, who call forth the manifestation of God, the manifestation of God, which is simply the vibration or tone, which is simply the vibration or tone of all that is, of all that is where it has been denied, where it has been denied is the collective act, is the collective act of realization, of realization that is actually now upon you, that is actually now upon you, Paul interrupts, Paul interrupts, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I see a lot of messes. I see a lot of messes. What you see is mess, Paul. What you see is mess, Paul, is the outpicturing of past choice, is the outpicturing of past choice. Karma, if you wish to call it that. Karma, if you wish to call it that, but what the collective has sown, but what the collective has sown in divisiveness and fear, in divisiveness, in fear, in cataloging merit, in cataloging merit in ways that deny others their good, in ways that deny others their good must be seen, must be seen as a creation, as a creation that has come to be reckoned with, that has come to be reckoned with, a time of reckoning. A time of reckoning is a time of facing one's creation, is a time of facing one's creation, what you call a mess, what you call a mess, we call great opportunity, we call great opportunity for humanity to say yes, for humanity to say yes to what now exists, 
to what now exists in a way that can be claimed, in a way that can be claimed. What does that mean, he asks. What does that mean, he asks, a way that can be claimed, a way that can be claimed. The detritus, the detritus that claims the wall of separation, that claims the wall of separation into being, into being, will no longer be present, will no longer be present when the tone or the pitch, when the tone or the pitch that humanity claims, that humanity claims sounds loud enough, sounds loud enough in its own claim, in its own claim of freedom, of freedom. The wall you see, the wall you see, only an idea, only an idea that accrued evidence to it manifests. That crude that accrued evidence to its manifest state is only physical, is only physical in the mind, in the mind. In fact, in fact, you are not separate from God. You are not separate from God or your brother or sister, or your brother or sister. You have experience of separation. You have experience of separation that you've learned through, that you have learned through now when the wall is no longer what is operative. Now when the wall is no longer what is operative, when the sense of division is no longer present, when the sense of division is no longer present, you may imagine a dam. You may imagine a dam that kept the divine outside, that kept the divine outside beginning to flood, beginning to flood, beginning to lift, beginning to lift all things that have been held at the lower vibrational level, at the lower vibrational level, the rising of humanity, the rising of humanity is what then occurs, is what then occurs, but something does not lift, but something does not lift without being dislodged, without being dislodged. The old car, the old car may not flow to the surface, may not flow to the surface with you behind the wheel, with you behind the wheel, so you lift anyway, so you lift anyway, and you release the idea of what must be, and you release the idea of what must be, or what must be happening, or what must be happening in a way that the logical mind can frame, in the way that a logical mind can frame, Paul interrupts, Paul interrupts, you're not preparing us for something disastrous, are you? You're not preparing us for something disastrous, are you? We have never done such a thing. We have never done such a thing. We do not teach in fear. We do not teach in fear, but we do teach in preparation. But we do teach in preparation. Your consciousness, we suggest, and your consciousness, we suggest, is what is must be prepared, is what must be prepared to shift away, to shift away from a value, from a value that you see, that you see in a maintenance of a status quo, in a maintenance, in a maintenance of a status quo, of a status quo that will no longer be present, that will no longer be present to see the change as gift, to see the change as gift, as opportunity, as opportunity allows you to float, allows you to float and not struggle and not struggle, but allows you to step outside. It allows you to step outside the storm shelter, the storm shelter beyond the barricaded windows, beyond the barricaded windows to see what change looks like in form, to see what change looks like in form. Now the world that you express through now the world that you express through is also an idea, is also an idea, and everything upon the earth, and everything upon the earth is subject to consciousness, is subject to consciousness, all things are informed by consciousness, all things are informed by consciousness, how you hold value, how you hold value to what is natural, to what is natural gives nature its value, gives nature its value, what you call sacred, what you call sacred, know is sacred, know is sacred, becomes sacred, becomes sacred by your claim, by your claim, what you put in the fire, what you put in the fire to be lost and transmuted, to be lost and transmuted, what you hide behind you, what you hide behind you to keep from the light, to keep from the light that claims you in shadow, that claims you in shadow, it is all expression. It is all expression and a world made new. And a world made new is not necessarily a world, is not necessarily a world with fairies jumping from life to leaf, with fairies jumping from leaf to leaf and a few angels playing the harpsichord and a few angels playing the harpsichord in the meadow across the way, in the meadow across the way. A new world is a world 
A new world is a world where humanity says yes, where humanity says yes to its innate sacredness, to its innate sacredness, where they do not kill, where they do not kill, where they do not enshroud, where they do not enshroud, where they do not imprison, where they do not imprison, where they do not starve, where they do not starve, where they do not ridicule, where they do not ridicule the idea of kindness. The idea of kindness often perceived as weakness often perceived as weakness is actually revolutionary, is actually revolutionary for three minutes in one day. If for three minutes in one day all practice kindness, all practice kindness, everything would change. Everything would change. You would actually claim a tone. You would actually claim a tone in the collective field in the collective field where things would lift, where things would lift that appeared nailed to the floorboards, that appeared nailed to the floorboards. But what we tell you, but what we tell you can happen, can happen is that humanity can collect its inheritance, is that humanity can collect its inheritance. You were always holy. You were always holy. You just denied it. You just denied it to claim one's innate divinity. To claim one's innate divinity doesn't mean you practice a faith. Doesn't mean you practice a faith. Does not mean you sit in meditation. Does not mean you sit in meditation. Does not mean you speak the language. Does not mean you speak the language that will comfort the ones beside you. That will comfort the ones beside you. It means you will come to know. It means you will come to know. And to know is to realize. And to know is to realize. And when you realize, and when you realize who you have always been, who you have always been, and just forgot, and just forgot, just forgot, just forgot, just forgot, just forgot, you awaken, you awaken to what has always been, to what has always been. We will say this for you each now. We will say this for you each now. We see you each in your beauty. We see you each in your beauty. We see you right to be. We see you in your right to be. In all you have known and may know. And as we say these words. And as we say these words, we claim you each. We claim you each in the vibrational in the vibrational echo, echo of the upper room, of the upper room, your compliance, your compliance, your agreement, your agreement will bring you here, will bring you here. We know who you are in truth. We know who you are in truth. We know what you are in truth. We know how you serve in truth. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are in the upper room. You are in the upper room. Blessings to each of you. Blessings to each of you. Paul is feeling cold. Paul is feeling cold. Paul, this is the release of those. Paul, this is the release of those who are releasing what they can. We're releasing what they can that has been in denial of the light, that has been in denial of the light, what has refused God. What has refused God, what may now be made new, what may now be made new. Thank you each for your presence. Thank you each for your presence. We will speak again before the afternoon is finished. We will speak again before the afternoon is finished. Period, period, period. Missing period.